What's good with y'all, man? Y'all know who it is, man. Your favorite trucker back reporting live from the gridiron on this tune in and turn the fuck up on a Tuesday. Going up on a Tuesday. You know what I'm talking about. Because God is good all the time. You know what I'm saying, man. I'm hearing that 210, that San Antonio, Texas, Maine. That little Mexico capital of Texas. You feel me, man? You feel me? I'm in this thing, man. Hope all is well with y'all, man. Um, hope you guys had a fantastic Tuesday. I know I have. To especially be in San Antonio again on a Tuesday. And, uh, you know, get to pop up on my boy, man. I just kind of just, when I parked for for the night, I told him, hey, look, <clears throat> I'm going to let you know. Boys is uh, parked outside. And uh, I'm going to stay the night. Because uh, I got two hours left to my clock. And, boys, ain't, I'm not in the mood to make it to Houston, man. I'm tired. Just kind of want to kick it and chill for a minute, man. And then I'm going to lay down and get some rest. Get, get fresh for tomorrow. And if you feel me. So, um, yeah, man. Started my day about 4.45. Um, got to the Coca-Cola place about 6.05. Got there. And they were behind. Big time behind. Um, checked in. Um, there was a truck ahead of me. Um, and then probably 15, 20 minutes later, another guy came to me and was like, man, if you could follow this truck in, turn around and come out. Um, it's just, we're behind, it's chaos, and uh, we'll definitely get to you. I know you're here on time, but we'll get to you. I said, okay, cool, no no, no tripping. So I got in, finally got in, finally got turned around, um, came back out, turned around, got back in the same parking spot that I was in because he, he followed at me and was like, hey, man, don't worry about going nowhere, just turn around. He said, I'm sorry, just get back in the same spot you was in. And we call when you're ready for it. I said, okay, cool. So, um, parked, waited. It took about an hour, almost an hour for them to get ready for me. I got, like I said, I got there at 6.05, and it was 6.42 when I finally got, it was 6.37, me, excuse me, 7.37. Once I got through them at 7.42, when I finally got back into the door, gave my gave him my, my paperwork, and, um, and I was talking to a Snyder driver next to me. Um, we were chopping up, met him a few times before, chopping up, chopping up, chopping it up. And then um, he left, went to go um, handle his, his paperwork for his his uh, his next load. Because uh, he ended up, um, he was getting live unloaded to get live loaded. And then I had a pre-assignment came in and I was getting live unloaded to get live loaded and we both were going to San Antonio so I probably left like I said it was 742 when I got in the door it's probably closer to like 1030 before they finally got me done and I was headed out got done headed out and um started rolling man roll 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 went to go get it scaled had it had it you know had my tanner slit and I didn't even touch my tendons from the day before had them in the perfect spot it was good rolled kept on rolling man finally got to san antonio um got to san antonio probably around mm, three something around three something um and you know on my way to san antonio um i got my pre-assignment for tomorrow which was i got to be in houston at 10 o'clock and i'm getting live loaded to take it to Fort Worth. So I got to be there by 10. And I was like, man, I was trying to just eyeball the time I had and what I felt like doing. And I'm like, man, I really don't feel like driving no more today. I'm, I'm, I'm done. You know what I'm talking about? I'm done ski. Fork at me. I'm done. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, done with that. Um, as soon as I got, I dropped that, dropped the load and picked up my empty. And then um, I'm going to get some fuel. So I got to tomorrow. The only thing I got to do tomorrow once I get to Houston is when I get live loaded, go get scaled real quick, and I'm going to the, to Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? And I got to be in Fort Worth before 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So I pretty much I got a lot of time, but I definitely want to make sure I'm there at, at 9.50 to get live loaded at 10. I make sure I want to make sure I'm on time for that. And I don't want no BS, no funny bunny business going on. I want to be there on time. You feel me? So that's for that that that's for damn sure gonna happen tomorrow. God willing, you know, safe travels there, and I get there and I do my thing. So, um, 
Um, and I was like, man, I'm just going to say tonight. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, I got parked for the just kick it for the night. Give me something to eat, man. And just kick it, man. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. It's been a long day. But I've enjoyed it. It's not a, I'm tired because I'm complaining. I'm just tired because, hey, when you put that work in, you know, you tend to get a little get a little tired, you know what I'm talking about, so, uh, like I said, all in all, it's been a really good day on this turn the fuck up Tuesday, you feel me, and, um, man, like I said, hope you guys had a fantastic day, I know I did, and, um, you know, let's keep the ball rolling, man, let's keep that momentum, it's Tuesday, man, um, the day ain't over, but it's almost over, and if you, you know, need to ask some questions, ask those questions, man. If you need to do your research, do that research, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't be deterred from what someone may say or what you think they may say or what the outcome may be. If it's for you, it's for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that, man. Just go get it, go do it, and then you never know what's to come from it. You, you feel me? Um, so... Yeah, man. Like I said, man, it's been a good day, man. It really has, man. It really has, man. Like I said, we get off this thing, man. We get off this thing, man. And um, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, man. So continue to have the belief in yourself plus the mindset you can do it. Is that contagious behavior for success. Start small, stay consistent, and trust your gut instincts. And just remember, I'm just an imaginary little brother giving you advice. Outlast the average and take everything to the bloodstream. Until the next episode. I have a